Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I am doing a hair tutorial. I did one a few weeks ago, but the curls were like very perfect curls, even though they were kind of like that undone like part where like the bottom of your curls are straight. Um, I actually have been gravitating towards this a lot lately. It's like a very unfinished, like wispy, wavy kind of look and I love it because it lasts me until I have to wash my hair again in four days. So everything I'm talking about in this video is going to be linked in the description bar below. While you are down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join the fam and also follow my husband and I on our vlog channel. We have started back vlogging now that it is 2021 and we'd love to have you join us over there and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's all I've really got for this intro, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just actually finished my hair. So while I have all of this running through my mind, I wanna go ahead and say it first. So I washed and dried my hair with a Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner that is like, it's a custom um, shampoo and conditioner. And I know it sounds so bougie, but I actually made a blog post one time. I'll link it below. I think I calculated it out. I think it's like five or $7 a week when you look at how much it actually costs for the shampoo, um, because you can get like a three month supply. And usually I can actually get six months out of it because I don't wash my hair every day or even every other day. Um, I try to wash my hair like about once every four days. So I can get like four or five months out of one shampoo and conditioner. Um, I blew it dry with my Dyson and air wrap. I have a full tutorial on how I use that up on my channel. I'll link it in the description bar below for you guys. It just gives me all the volume. I will link the products below, the heat protectant, the volume spray, and the texture spray that I use in my hair while it is wet. I mean, I don't really need to show you because you literally just spray it in your hair when it's wet and then you blow it dry and it kind of does its job. Um, also, yes, this is my natural hair color. I get that a lot too. And I don't really do anything for shine because I have pretty naturally shiny hair as is, but the Function of Beauty um, shampoo, I do have that in my like formula. Um, I did put that I wanted shine. So that is why my hair is so shiny. So I'll link that in the description bar below for you guys as well, um, along with all the products I'm using here, but I wanted to make sure I covered that first. All right here, because you gotta put the dry shampoo in after you wash your hair. That's how it works. Okay, so I put some dry shampoo in. I've been putting dry shampoo in after I blow dry my hair and it actually makes such a difference um, and lets my hair last a lot longer. So if you see any like white spots, I'm not actually going gray. It's just my dry shampoo. So, okay, I have blown my hair dry. Um, what else have I done? I blew it dry, I put all my product in it. I'll link it below for you guys. I use um, a texturizing spray, a volume spray, and a heat protectant. And I mean, honestly, I probably have stronger clips that I could do this with, but these are what I have on hand. Okay, so once my hair is pulled up, I've got my mirror sitting over here in front of me. Um, I actually have been loving to straighten the ends um, of like my hair first because I think it just kind of makes it like a little bit easier to definitely see where to stop the curls if you're especially new at like having those really straight ends. Um, so I do that, but then on the lowermost layer, and honestly my hair is getting a little bit long for it, but I used to when my hair was a lot shorter, I would only straighten the underneath layer. Um, I think it's a little bit longer. It's a little bit too long for that now. So, so we're gonna um, actually kind of curl this, but it'll be a little bit different. So I really quickly run the straightener through the whole part of um, my ends, just because again, like the bottom most part of your hair like has a weird tendency to stick out, especially if you have shorter hair like I do. But when I do the top most layer, I don't run it through the whole strand of hair. I just run it through the bottom. It's just too much heat. Um, and I will link everything I'm talking about below, but I use the T3 straightener. T3 are my favorite products of life. And I do have the straightener set to four out of five, um, but I only keep my curling iron on three out of five because I think the straightener, like I really, when I straighten my hair, I prefer it to be like stick straight, but my hair will hold at the third setting. And this is the Whirl Trio. So this actual head is, um, you can like pull it off and change it. I'm using the one and a quarter inch curling iron here. And all I'm gonna do, this is super simple, is I actually curl pretty high. I don't use the clamp when I'm doing the top part, but when I'm doing the bottom and it's a little harder to hold on to that hair, I will use the clamp. So all I do is I wrap it around once and then I release it. And that's gonna give you like a little bit of a bend, but not, you know, 
It's not gonna look like a curl and you only hold it for like three to five seconds. If you want it to really look curly, um, hold it for a little bit longer, but we'll curl this piece. And that's it. I go ahead and kind of run my fingers through it. I'll mess with any of the pieces. And you can always go back and straighten them if they're messed up. But that is one side. Really quick, very simple. I'm gonna have to go get a different mirror before I do the top part. This is my first time shooting a hair tutorial with this setup and it is difficult. And for the bottom, you leave out like an inch or two. Honestly, it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. And that's the bottom layer. That's literally all for the bottom. Okay, so it does look like it sticks out a little bit at the end, but I promise when you pull the top layer of your hair down, it's gonna all look really good together, flow nicely. So that's really it. Let me make sure the back looks good. I didn't miss any pieces. Yeah. So you can see, it's just like, I have this loose bend in it. And I keep saying that because I've heard Jen Atkins say it. I've been like watching all the Jen Atkins hair tutorials the past couple weeks. And so now they're not called waves, they're called bins. Because we gotta be bougie like Jen Atkin. I'm obsessed with her hair tutorials. Okay, so I'm actually going to part my hair again and do the topmost layer last. Now, when I get to the middle section of my hair, um, this is when I start teasing. It's not necessary to do teasing. Um, some people prefer not to, but I really struggle with um, volume. Now that I use the Dyson, it honestly like isn't as much of a problem, but I do still like to tease up my roots because I feel like it kind of holds my hair in a little bit of a different way. Like it makes it hold the look I want longer versus the volume from the Dyson is just like overall root volume. So here I'll start with the back piece. So again, when the hair is like really hard to grab onto, um, I will use the clamp. I find that it honestly doesn't make that different of a look when you're doing this. Like it still kind of just kind of looks the same. And then as we move forward, I will take big sections, usually like an inch, inch and a half. And I will wrap the hair around like once or twice. These pieces are a little bit longer, so sometimes they go twice. And then there you go. And you can always go back after um, with the clamp if you think that helps. Now I'm gonna let that cool down this side before touching it at all. Um, and that includes like teasing, any hairspray, putting my hands through it, any of that. Um, anyone else keep their mouth open while they curl? Almost like the mascara thing, like you know how you can't put mascara on without your mouth open? Like I can't seem to curl my hair without my mouth open. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I can curl with my mouth closed. Look at me. And there you go. You've got these like loose bins and the look is really starting to come together, thankfully. Before I start teasing, make sure I didn't miss any back pieces. I've really been loving the Garnier Fruit Tease Texture Tease Dry Touch Finishing Spray. This is an extra stronghold. My mom actually found this stuff and it is so impressive. So you don't wanna spray it right at the root, but you do wanna spray it towards your root. And that's really gonna make your hair hold that tease. You can see I'm like not being gentle with my hair. Like I find whenever I'm like lacing each piece carefully and I'm like picking them up simple, like my hair looks too like almost, I don't wanna say perfect, but it does. It just have more of like a, a perfect look to it. And this is more, we're going for like a very undone look here. And I will kind of tease the back a little bit. And you can tease it before you curl it. I don't know if I've said that yet, but I just prefer not to. I think it, um, my hair works a little bit better if it's already had heat added to it and then I tease it. All right, guys, we are almost done. I'm gonna pull down the top layer now. Kind of try to make sure that I'm like showing you guys the top of my hair. So I have a cowlick right here and it is 
a sassy cowlick. It has a mind of its own, so I have to be very careful to not tease that. Um, so usually when I'm doing the top section, I'm like very careful. I don't want anything to piss off that cowlick. And if you have a cowlick that's in the front of your hair, even the back of your hair, um, I think you understand that frustration. Like cowlicks are the worst. This time I'm just gonna take smaller sections instead of um, like getting these like super big one, one and a half inch sections, I'm gonna almost take like half inch sections and just kinda do those a little bit longer. The top is the part that like obviously people see more. And if you do, um, if you don't like want to hold the clamp open, you can always keep it closed. Um, I think it's just more heat gets to the hair when you have the clamp open. But it's definitely not necessary if you're new. I've done it before. Just curl the hair over the clamp. It won't make a difference. And there's the front piece. And then for this piece back here, this is the backmost piece. I'm going to use the clamp. And then I'm actually going to... Um, clip it up and let it kind of cool because that really helps lock in that volume. But I'm not going to wrap it around like a curl. I'm going to do like a I'm gonna leave part of it out. You can see there's like a long piece left out. I know it looks a little crazy, but it works. So avoiding the cowlick now, <laughs> I am going to spray my texture spray and then tease this top layer. You can like instantly see how much more body I have. And when I'm teasing my bangs, I never use texture spray because again, I just like don't want to piss it off. There you go. You're just completely finished. It looks so fabulous. I'm not that funny. Anyway, so. Now that you have your volume to your hair, go around, just kind of make sure there's no like crazy teasing spots that like clearly look like they've been teased. Just kind of use a brush to brush them out. I think we're actually pretty good. And also check the back of your hair. Make sure you didn't miss anything. I think we are good. Actually, that was really good. And now's the time you can kind of go back and touch up any of the ends if they did get curled. I'm honestly just gonna kind of run the straightener through very quickly on the bottom. But I think we actually did pretty good today. Again, like having those ends out already kind of gives you a guide. And then I will usually take the straightener and just kind of like lightly bend these front pieces to make sure that like there aren't any crazy flyaways. Now for the finishing part. So I'm going to actually just tease a little bit more of the back and then I'm gonna spray it with some hairspray and show you how to really get that PC look. Um, also, sometimes I will alternate my curls. So when I did my last hair tutorial, I was alternating my um, curls. Like I would curl one piece back and then one piece forward. With this look, I curled every piece of hair away from my face because I find that when you're doing these like light bends, it doesn't look as good when you do the alternating um, pieces. And a way to get your hair to still look kind of PC is actually the way pomade. So, and teasing your hair. Like if you tease your hair, it's gonna kind of make it stay in its place a little bit more. So you take a little tiny bit of the Whey pomade. Fun fact, Jen Atkin actually is the owner or founder of Whey. So needless to say, I think you know why I'm using it. Just takes a little bit. I rub it all over my hands and then just run it through the ends of your hair. Cause it literally is called a matte pomade. So it's not gonna give your hair any like extra shine. I mean, it doesn't take away any shine, but it does just like make your hair kind of look 
very matte and PC, which I love. I love messy hair the older I get. Like, I don't love my hair to look perfect. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this tutorial separate from the one that I did um, just a few weeks ago, actually. It's because I just find myself gravitating towards this look more because it lasts for actually a lot longer. Like you don't have to really do, if you ever have touch-ups, you only have to touch up in the front and it'll last me like four days. Like I won't have to fully redo my hair until I wash it. All right guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was really quick and honestly, like this is just what I love doing to my hair recently. It's fast, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just looks like that really nice beachy wave. Like, oh yes, I just went to the beach even though I haven't been to the beach in a year. Thanks, COVID. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here, and also give it a thumbs up if you want to see more hair tutorials. I love you guys so much, and I hope that I see you in my next video.